So for the uh, Gen 3 helmet, um, this is just uh, for our generic SA. It's de designed to be one-stop shopping. I have in one helmet, I have op foresight capability. I have a uh, uh, HMD that provides a, a, a HUD, a light display when facing forward. And as the conditions change outside, I don't have to take off my visor and put on uh, Ambus 9 NVGs to have a night vision capability. Uh, we've got two cameras that assist in that. There's a camera on the dash forward of the pilot, and there's a camera on your helmet. This camera uh, forward of the pilot is designed to capture a, a, a view forward of you that allows the pilot to see through the canopy itself, the canopy bow itself. Uh, and then the helmet uh, cam is also uh, similar capabilities, also collecting images for you and then projecting, processing and projecting those images on the visor. So real quick, uh, HMD display, as you look forward, it stabilizes, so it presents to you a similar picture like a HUD would. Off the left side, you've got uh, airspeed, uh, right side altitude, flight path marker, velocity vector, depending on uh, what language you speak and then uh, XL, cell Q, and uh, some other references for us. Here we go. Be aware this, uh, this picture itself is a little skewed in terms of the helmet camera is about three to four inches above eyesight. So it's looking right at the canopy bow the whole time, but this will come in discussions later. Okay, what we're looking at here is, shoot, I missed it again. Highlight conditions, very highlight conditions. As it was, this is a uh, super moon during our debt. Uh, the brightest the moon's been in 50 years. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> yeah. But it did, it's really bright. And so what you're looking at forward of you, just uh, this is the image from the FCAM overlaid, it's a picture-in-picture -picture type of uh, presentation, and as the FCAM's uh, field of uh, view is, ceases, now you can see the canopy bell off to the right. HMD symbology is available to you in the FCAM and still available to you as you look off foresight. Uh, currently, a pilot's in a hover next to the ship. He's going to transition over the ship, uh, stabilize over spot seven, and then land. So the imagery is obviously a little bit different here. And uh, he's slowly approaching forward. You can see on the rat out, he's a little bit lower than he normally would be. Normally be like a, more like 40, 50 feet here. And he's looking down at the right, trying to establish where he is fore aft on the uh, ship. That's the tower itself where the LSO sits. And right there are two generators that he walked by as he walked out to his aircraft so he knew where those were on the uh, ship's deck. And now he's landed. <laughs> 